Hey, beautiful people, it's me, Tracy, and I am popping on again for another late night wash and go. Um, or I should say hydrate and style, you know, I'm just popping on. I wasn't going to record this video because it is late and I'm kind of tired, but then I thought, hey, let me show you guys what I'm doing with my hair. So I just wet flopped it as usual. Um, so yeah, I washed my hair with my true science and kind of like moved my hair into the position that um, I want to work with it with. I'm going to use Emba. I am going to try this for the first time using Emba the same amounts that I always use, um, which is hardly any. And I am going to use this as a one and done and see how my hair um, works. And I forgot my brush. I'm gonna get it because you know how I always use my brush to distribute products. So, yeah, um, I'm just using a little bit of the Emba, and I am going to distribute that product through my hair. So, I'm just using this as a one and done because I wanted to try it on my hair and see how my hair was going to respond throughout the week. I saw Abena um, do it on her hair, and yeah she had really really nice results and so i thought hey you know what why not me try it so that's what we doing i will tell you this what i'm feeling on my hair um and i don't know if it's because it's just this gel alone when i use it with a base whether that be a foam or um, a gel, I kind of feel like it has more slip to it. It still has slip, but um, it doesn't seem like it has the same amount of slip to it as when I use it with a base and use the Emba as a topper. So that's one of the things that I'm noticing. So yeah, we just like smoothing it through the hair. So, yeah. So, my hair is not really damp, but um, it's not dripping wet either. And I'm realizing that I actually like to style my hair like this because it doesn't take long for it to dry. I don't sit under the dryer like a long time. And that's important to me um, because I be having hot flashes, y'all. So yeah, sitting under that dryer is just not the business sometimes. So I'm just smoothing this through. And we're just going to take this brush for even distribution of the product. then smooth it through all of the hair together. This is just the way I like to do it. So, um, I have gone to five hairstylists since I've been on my journey in the last 13 years. And um, when I first started, there was just not a lot of curl specialists, um, you know, in my area that were black doing um, curly hair. It seemed like when I started wearing my hair curly, a lot of the black stylists still wanted to hold on to, you know, press and curl and, you know, and, or maybe that just was, that's what they like to do, you know? So no shade to press and curl or anything like that. It's just that I really wanted somebody who specialized in curls and at the time, you know, it was a lot of white people um, who were cutting hair that way. And so 
I started going and trying, um, you know, hairstylists who were cutting hair curly. And there was this one lady that I absolutely really did love in Moraga. She really was very, had a lot of education around textured hair like mine, even though she was white. And she really was able to really help me to understand what was going on with my hair at that time. Because all these other hairstylists I was going to, when I was going to hairstylists who mainly cut your hair straight or don't specialize in curls, they were all saying, oh yeah, your hair's not damaged, it's fine. All this kind of stuff. But I couldn't figure out why my hair was curly like way up here and then down here I had these like straight pieces and I was just not understanding why my hair was you know looking like it looked so I had to do a lot of manipulation and she really helped me to understand what was going on so I was going to her for like a while and then you know it got to a point where you know sometimes when you're listening to people you can tell oh they on their way out and she was on her way out she loved scuba diving and things like that and she was older and so I knew that she was going to be retiring soon so I started looking for somebody else and um so that ended that relationship and so anyway I've been to five different people um out of those five only one of them has been black and that just wasn't a good working relationship um and so yeah i had to eventually well actually i think she just kind of fired some of <laughs> her customers for whatever reason you know so anyway there and there went that so then i had to look for somebody else and lo and behold i have been with this person that i'm with now for roughly about i say four well no four Hmm. Yeah, five years. Been with her for about five years. And, um, yeah, it's been nice, you know, with her. I think that she does a great job at doing my hair. But sometimes I just think that she don't really be hearing me. Um, even though I'm trying to communicate with her the best that I can um, at telling her what I'm looking for. I think sometimes when... I feel like sometimes white people misunderstand us as black people. When I say that I want to be on a journey to grow my hair out to a certain length and, um, you know, sometimes I just feel like she just doesn't get it, you know, or she thinks, oh, well, your hair grows one inch a month or whatever. No, it don't. It don't grow that. It's like a quarter um, a month. And that's a maybe, right? So, yeah. I'm only using this much, y'all. So, I'm still using the same amount of Emba that I normally use. As you can see, I'm seeing right now that with just this gel alone, it is giving me hang time. Because the hair... As you can see, the clumps are, you know, really big. So I want to kind of separate the clumps. But this is the Emba just in my hair. Just kind of like smoothing it. Um, I love this gel, you guys, because, you know, it activates so well with water. Um, you know, you don't really need to put on a lot of the product. I know some people go really heavy, um, and I, but I tend not to. So I'm just going to, like, kind of, like, make sure I'm, um, all these hairs and stuff back here are just nicely just defined. And I want to, um, kind of separate the curls a little bit so that they're not all clumped 
together. So these are my little hermit curls back here, the ones that are tighter. Doing this takes um, kind of like a long time, but when I do it, I do like the results that I get. This technique too can make your hair, I think, shrink up a little bit more because you're doing some raking, but I just like the way the separation of the curls look. So, so this is what we're working with. We're just doing this. And when you're raking, just drop it after you rake and shake. If you're feeling lazy, which sometimes I do have that, those moments where I feel lazy and I don't really want to do this method, um, I, I will skip it sometimes. But I've been liking the way that my hair has been coming out. Um, and I can fill in those gaps or camouflage them where I feel like my hair is not um, as thick in certain spots. Like that, you know, this side of my head where I felt like my hair was shorter. I don't know if that's my cut or what's going on. Uh oh. You just do that if it, if you feel like the hair is like getting tangled. Just slowly separate it. Yeah. So sometimes when you're doing this break and shake, depending on um the sections that you take, sometimes when you're taking your hair apart, you can see where the hair just wants to like separate on its own. Uh oh. So, yeah, so this is what I'm doing here. And then this is this last little section here. I'm gonna just split it up. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So, yeah, you guys. So this is what we're working with today. I have more hang time as well. I'm seeing that. And it's still like in its wet state, but I have more hang time than in some of the previous videos where my hair was up to here. So, yeah, so I'm excited about that. But yeah, this is what we're working with. I'm about to sit under the hair dryer. And um, yeah, so I'll be trying to do some shorts that are going to be uploading um, so that you guys can kind of see my hair throughout the week, or I'll just be on Instagram and post there. All right, y'all, peace to fingers. Bye for now.